Good evening, assalamu alaikum, and welcome back to the SEA Specimen Paper Series here on C Results. Today we'll be doing two questions that are based on geometry, number 33 and 34. Uh, so number 33 reads, complete the symmetrical shape on the grid below using the line of symmetry shown. So what we have here is a symmetrical shape and that dark diagonal line across the grid is the line of symmetry or the line about which if we were to fold the symmetrical shape, either side would match perfectly with the other, right? So we are missing some elements of the shape. So all we have to do is basically examine it. And that would lead us to our solution here. Okay. So if we look to either side of the grid, we're just going to have to match what is on one side with what is on the other. So basically we have one square that is supposed to be shaded here, All right? Shading tool is not very dark, but hopefully you will see it. And it may cause me to color a little bit out of the line, but of course you will be neater than that when you are sitting your exam. And then we have also this piece that is missing as well. Okay, so it's just these two blocks that we need to shade in in order to complete this symmetrical figure. And there we go. So if we look on either side now, we'll notice that it matches perfectly. We have one block here shaded on either side. We have a half a block on either side, then a complete block, right? After those half blocks, we have one block each and then a further block one more out and then we have two half blocks here and if you were to fold this i guess it sort of looks like a bat or a butterfly almost maybe that might just be my imagination but this is our symmetrical figure all right so we'll move on to the next question now okay so here we are with number 34 which reads, the triangle ABC is a right-angled isosceles triangle whose angle B is equal to its angle C. Complete the drawing on the grid below to represent the triangle ABC. So the angle B is equal to its angle C, all right? And it's a right-angled triangle. So that means one of the angles is 90 degrees, which we know is synonymous with the quarter turn. And because it's isosceles, two of its sides must be equal in length. So because the angles B and C are equal to each other, we know that neither angle B nor angle C can be the right angle. That wouldn't be possible, right? Because the total uh, number of degrees in a triangle is actually 180 degrees. So therefore that right angle has to be at angle A, all right? Has to be angle A. And because it's an isosceles triangle, this side that goes from A to B has to be equal in length to the side that goes from A to C. So the AB side is one, two, three, four, five squares long. So I'm gonna draw one here from A to C that is also one, two, three, four, five squares long. And then I can connect that side B to C. And what I have here now, is a right angled isosceles triangle whose angles B and C will be equal to each other. All right, they will be equal to each other. So we notice the side here AC has five units in length, and the side AB, five units in length. We have our right angle here at A, and because these two sides are equal in length, AB and AC, these angles. B and C are also going to be equal in size. All right, so that's it for today, guys. A nice short video after yesterday's long one. I hope to see you again or to have you join me again tomorrow evening, God willing, as we continue our journey. We are getting very near to the end of the math paper. And then hopefully we'll be moving on to the ELA with the help of Miss Nyla. All right, so have a great evening. Assalamu alaikum.